Hey you guys, it's Bunny. I, I asked a couple of weeks ago if there was anything that you guys wanted me to um, do a video on. And several people have actually signed up to Goodreads because I asked them to. And they don't understand how to navigate the site. Or, you know, I don't know why you like the site so much. I don't know what to do or whatever. Because I talked so many people into signing up to Goodreads and they all feel lost. I thought I'd do a little video walkthrough of some of my favorite areas on Goodreads. So this video is just going to be like a basic overview of the Goodreads website, some of the things that you can do on there, how to find your friends, how to find books and all that. It, by no means is this all encompassing. There is no way I can go over everything that is Goodreads. It's one of those sites that's so big that you constantly will find new areas and new things to do on there. So this is just going to be like my favorite areas of Goodreads and how I use Goodreads the most. If you haven't friended me on there, go ahead and friend me. I love talking books with people. I'm on Goodreads probably more than I'm on Facebook. So that's a lot. But anyway, here's like a little walkthrough of the Goodreads website. Section 1. The Goodreads Overview. This is the main Goodreads site. This is what you see when you first pop onto Goodreads. Once you are signed up and all of that, they actually have made signing in super easy. You can sign in with your Facebook or Twitter. I'm going to sign in with Facebook. So now you can see that I'm signed in you see my little picture up here um, I'm actually just bunny Kate's on Goodreads so if you want to friend me on there go ahead for the general overview once you get signed in if you've only just signed up to your account and you've not really added any people or added any books your main page is going to be really empty I'm already in groups and I've already made friends and been on here for I think since 2007 so I've been on here for a really long time um, I'm going to give you a general overview of the main page and then in section 2 I'll come back and I'll show you how to add books and organize your bookshelves and then in the last section section 3 I'm going to show you how to find your friends add people um, join some groups and all of that kind of fun stuff there's always something going on on Goodreads so I'm usually I'm actually I think on Goodreads probably more than I'm on Facebook so I'm on here a lot but anyway, this is part one. This is going to be the general overview. Once you've gotten signed in, you'll ha be able to search for books here in the search box. This button, Home, anytime you're anywhere on the site and you want to go back to the main page, just click Home. My books, if you click this, it will actually show you all of the books that you've put on your bookshelves. And as you can see here, I've got several shelves. Um, right now we're looking at all the books. You can sort how they're displayed to you uh, by various other things and all that. We'll come back to that um, in part two. So now let's go back to the home page so you don't get confused. Groups, groups are, are basically forums. There's tons and tons of forums on Goodreads um, and I'll sh go over that when I show you how to add friends and get into the groups and stuff. It's probably one of my favorite areas of the site. It's how you can meet and communicate with other people that love books just as much as you do. The recommendations, we'll go over more in the adding books section. This is where you can come to get ideas of new books, see what books are coming out. Um, you can send recommendations to people. Uh, your friends can send you recommendations. The Explore button, which if you click Explore, it brings you to this page, which basically, the Movers and Shakers, that's showing you what books are the most popular being talked about on Goodreads right now. And as you can see at the bottom, there's buttons where you can stick them on your bookshelves. If you hover them over them, you get a pop-up with the synopsis. You can look at this stuff by genre. This is the giveaway that they're really promoting right now. Um, the top review this week, this is, once you post reviews, people will be able to thumb up it if they like it. So, the top review this week is this person's review of The Doors Stone. Um, new releases. 
this is showing you new stuff that's out right now, new releases in paranormal, new releases in historical fiction. What it actually shows you on this page, I believe, is based on what you mark as your interests in your profile. You can sign up to the Goodreads newsletter, um, read reviews of other books by other people of books on your bookshelf, see recent reviews, top reviews, have it show you a random book. <laughs> And you'll notice next to the word of explore is a drop down. This is my favorite, like this is where I always come. In here you have Listopia. You can build lists of books or like have people vote and have like the top horror books or, or whatever. There's tons and tons of lists already on here or you can make your own. Giveaways, I pop in here every single day. Uh, people in the book industry say a publicist, a publisher, or the author can host giveaways on here. These are all paper copies. Goodreads does not allow um, ebooks to be offered. So I know when I'm entering a giveaway on here, I'm entering for a paper copy. I don't have to worry if I'm winning an ebook or not. And you can actually sort these by, you know, what's fixing the end, what's the most requested, like most entered giveaway, which authors are the most popular in the giveaways, what's the newest listed giving giveaways. And you can actually enter to win just by clicking this button. And what it does is it, lo it, it enters you using your login information on here. And if you win, you get send books for free. So I love the giveaways. I pop in here about the last 20 minutes of my day every day spent on here entering giveaways because I'm crazy like that. And the Goodread Voice is like their newsletter. They even have, if you click ebooks, there are free ebooks on here that you can read. Like here's one from Stephanie Meyer. It's like the, a novella of the Twilight series. And here's some fanfic, um, James Potter, which I think is Harry Potter's son. I haven't read that yet. There's classics on here. Um, there's excerpts on here. But I mean, there's tons and tons. 50 pages of free stuff that you can download and read. For the fun, they've got, you know, trivia stuff. There's quizzes you can take. There's book and author quotes that you can browse. They have, um, in the community, there's a creative writing community, people, events. So if you're ever bored, you can come to Goodreads and just lose a day. Literally, you can come in here and lose a day. And there's always something different to see. And when you log in, once you've added friends and things, you might notice that there'll be this G will have a little red number at the top. That's a notification. If you're in groups and somebody replies to a post that you're watching or if somebody sends you a private message or any of that, it's all going to show up here. So notifications, you'll get notifications if people add you as a friends or comment in one of the groups you're in. Inbox is if somebody, if one of your peop, one of the people on your friends list sends you a private message, it will show up in here. And this is just like private messages on YouTube or private messages on Facebook. Nobody can see it but you and the person. Um, friends, if somebody requests to be your friend, there'll be a little number right here. You can also click here to see uh, the people that are in your friends list. And I'll explain more about that after, in the part three. This is your profile area. You can come in here to change any information you need to change. Look at your friends. If you ever get lost or need help doing something, there's the help. And here's where you sign in and sign out. Now, that's the toolbar across the top of the main page. The other things on the main page... You can check your recommendations. Here's a little box showing you how many books that you've actually rated or reviewed on Goodreads. I have been on here since 2007, but I didn't actually start really rating or reviewing books until last year, so I don't have hardly any um, ratings up. The currently reading section, you actually have a shelf called currently reading, and you stick books in there when that's what you're reading. You can see right here the books I'm currently reading. I'm reading Dark Root by the Sullivan Brothers. I'm 59% complete. The reason it says percent is because that's on the Kindle, and the Kindle doesn't have page numbers. 
Finding Poe, I'm starting this week. It's a very short book. I've already put it on my currently reading list, but I haven't actually cracked the spine on it yet. So as you can see, I'm on page one of 210. Cinder, which is our book club read for this month, is already on my currently reading. I've also not started reading it yet. It's kind of just on here because as you're updating this stuff, it sends the updates out to the people that are on your friends list. And I'll put Cinder on here to notify people that Cinder was our book club pick for this month. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please look um, about two or three videos back for It's a Book Club and You're Invited. And you're more than welcome to join us on September 1st to discuss Cinder. Um, in the middle section here where you see recent updates, these are like the form the groups that I'm joined which like I said a while ago are like little mini forums these are the updated posts in the groups the red means that's how many replies have been on that particular one since the last time you looked at it and the reading it group on here this is actually my group there's not a whole lot of people in there it's just kind of a hangout place it doesn't matter what genre you like or anything um, you're more than welcome to request to join and I'll put you in there uh, let's see, what else do I want to show you on this page? There's usually polls down on the right. The Goodreads quote of the day is down on the right. This is your book, so when you put books in your bookshelves, you'll have quick links to your shelves here. And then this part here, the recent updates, you can actually change what you want to see. You can have it on discussions, which is where I keep mine. This is so I can see um, what's going on in the groups that I'm in. You can watch discussion on books or you can watch it on groups, or you can watch it on both. I keep mine on groups. If you put it on books, it'll be um, different updates, like uh, status updates, these reading updates, they'll show up here under books. But it'll be of your friends, like anybody you're friends with will show up under there if they update it. For updates, this is where um, you can see what all your friends, people that you've friended on here are doing, if this loads. There you go. So anytime somebody updates that's in your friends list or adds a book on their um, shelves or updates a reading status, it will all show up in here. But I keep mine on, since I usually hang out in the groups and talk to other people in the groups, I usually just keep mine on discussion. So that's going to be it for part one. This is the end of the overview. In part two, I'll show you how to organize your bookshelves and find books to add to your bookshelves and that type of thing. Okay, you guys, this is part two of this little walkthrough of Goodreads. For this section, we are going to go over bookshelves and how to add books to your bookshelves and how you can do the updates and do reviews and all of that. So let's go to my bookshelves. I'm just going to use mine as an example. So here you see my bookshelves. Right now we're looking at all of the books that I have organized on my bookshelf. And you can see that I have 2,400 or, yeah, 2,424 books. Mine are currently sorted by um, date read. You can uh, sort them by date added. So these are the newest books that I put on my bookshelves. And then it, when, you, when you sign up to Goodreads, I think the starter shelves are all read, currently reading, and to read. I think when you start Goodreads, that's the only shelves that you have. You have the option to add any shelves that you want to by scrolling down and clicking on Add Shelf. And if um, just using mine as an example, I actually have a shelf on here called Giveaways Entered. Uh, like I said in part one, I love to enter giveaways. So I've added a Giveaways Entered shelf. Um, I actually accept recommendations for my daughter because she uh, is an advanced reader. Kids Room, this is a shelf. There's a huge bookshelf in my daughter's room. I went in there one day and scanned all the books in there. So I would know what the kids have and what they don't. So I went and buy duplicates. Wish list is just like a little note to myself of books that I want that I don't have yet. And then underneath, I also have some little subdivided shelves. Like I have a cooking shelf, which is my cookbooks. Ebooks, Kindle. This is stuff that I've read on the Kindle. 
uh, finish later. These are books that for some reason or other I set them down and didn't pick them back up so and they just sat on my currently reading shelf for so long I pulled them over and to finish later in my library for a while I was marking the books that I bought as um, in my library but actually I don't do that all the time anymore so as you can see it only says 686 books I have way more books than that so Library loan, that's books that I got from the library, but I wanted to put them on my currently reading on Goodreads without putting them in my own bookshelves, so I put them in the library loan shelf. Uh, review copy, ARCs, that's self-explanatory. Technical books are like PHP, Perl, um, computer coding, all of that type of thing. Unreadable. Yeah, we know what that is. And writing in business is a subshelf of just my writing business books. You can get recommendations from books from your friends. You can send recommendations. If you have like a wish wish list, say on Amazon, you can actually import it by clicking import export. You can make sure you don't have duplicate copies of books on your shelves. You can look at click most read authors to see um, which authors on your bookshelves have you read the most of and on mine I've got 24 Stephen King books. That's a rundown of the bookshelves. Like I said if you want to add shelves you just click add shelves. Um, to find books there are two ways to do it. You can either click on add books right here or you can just come up here and search. Let's um, pull up RJ's book. So RJ Gonzalez, who's Mr. RJ Gonzalez on Twitter, I think he's RJ Does Books on YouTube. I'll actually link to his channel and put the link down below as well so you can find him here on YouTube. Um, this is RJ's book. As you can see, I've already got it on my shelves. I entered the giveaway for it and I didn't win. Hmm, RJ. Hmm. So, um, you can change editions, which you see this, I've got it as ebook. I actually hate ebooks, so I'm going to switch that to paperback. I clicked on switch edition, and you see he has a paperback available. I'm going to switch to that edition because I prefer paperback. And I want to remove this from my giveaways entered shelf and put it on my wish list shelf. So, I clicked edit shelves. And now I'm moving it over to my wish list. Now you can see it's on my wish list. <coughs> when you're looking at a book before you've put it on your shelf or after, you can actually browse down and see it, it separates the reviews. If somebody's in your friends list that's review it, it'll show them at the top under friend reviews. And it will also show you community reviews. These are other people that have reviewed this book, but that are, they are not in my friends list. So the only way I'm going to see these reviews is if I'm actually looking at the book page, because I'm not friends with these people. RJ, you're not supposed to review your own book. That's cheating. You'll also see over on the right what genres the book is primarily listed as. Now we've went over how to add bookshelves, how to add books to your bookshelves. Let's, um, let's see. I guess I'll show you how to add a review really quick. So, say you've read it and you want to put your review on it. If you had it in your currently, currently reading, let me pull this up real quick. If you had it over here in, on your currently reading shelf and you marked it as 100% finished and then update again and move this to your red shelf, it is going to pop up a box for you to write a review in. And your review box is going to look like this. You have the option of giving it stars, which I personally don't, I like, there, I just gave it five stars. I personally don't like to give stars because I feel like that's grading a book. So I'm going to click that clear and take that back off because I don't like to give stars. Um, you have this box here where you can actually put your entire review. And if you're like me and you're a blogger and put your reviews on your site, you can just copy and paste that stuff right in there. If your review is spoilery, you click this and it'll hide your review and people actually have to click to read it so nobody gets spoiled. 
Here's the date where you finish the book, so you can, you know, keep track of when you actually read it. You can update your Twitter with it. You can update your feed with it. You can share it on Facebook. You can put how many times you've read it. Um, what kind, you know, who do you think you would recommend the book to? You can leave private notes for yourself, like... Nobody will see these notes but you. And the private notes, you're the only one that will see it. Of course, RJ is subscribed to my channel. And I hope he sees my private note. Because I'm not kidding. Hmm. You can click that you own it. Um, if it was a library book, you know, you don't click that. You can tell it if you want it to update your Twitter when you've saved your review. You can have it update your Facebook when you've um, done your review. You can click here to preview it. And then save, of course, will save the review for you. Which, let's save that, because I want to keep that note for myself. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you uh, a while ago, and this has to do with books. You can actually do the, um, Goodreads will track your reads for you for a reading challenge. Basically, you set your goal for what you want to read for the year, and then as you read throughout the year, it, uh, it tracks your status for you. So for 2012, I did my goal for 52 books. I thought one book a week would be pretty easy to do. Um, right now, I'm at 77%. I've read 40 of 52 books. Um, I'm seven books ahead, and if I want to see what books, I can actually click there. <coughs> you can also put that little widget on your blog, which I think is awesome sauce. So here are the books that I have read so far. Okay, you guys, this is going to be part three, the last section for how to navigate your way around Goodreads. In this section, I'm going to show you how to find groups, how to join them, how the groups work, how to find people to add to your friends list, and what you can do with your friends on Goodreads. The first thing is the groups. Groups on Goodreads are like a bunch of forms, and they're theme-based. If you click on the groups button, which is on your main page once you log in, you will see um, all these groups. On the left are groups that you're a member to. If you've not signed up to any groups, this part's going to be empty. Featured groups are the groups that Goodreads is listing as some of the most active. I'm not sure how they pick what goes under the featured. Um, you can browse the groups by tag because when the people set up the groups, they can actually set them by genre if they're that specific. You can see which groups are recently active. Um, you can see which groups are reading books that are on your to-read shelves. These are the official groups for Goodreads, like um, if you need support or whatever. There's just so there are tons and tons of groups that you can add on or you can join basically on Goodreads. They're basically like forums. If there's not something that you see here you can actually search for things. So let's search for a horror groups. And these are all the groups that come up as having horror somewhere in the description or in their tags. Once you've joined a group, if you search for Bunny Cates, it's going to pull up mine. Once you've joined a group and you go into the group, there's, it's like a forum, but it's also like a mini blog. Like I can, I have my videos posted at the top. Um, here's our club pick for this, this month. We're going to, we're all reading Cinder. The live thing will be coming up. Um, and then here's the discussion part of it. You have topics and people can post. It's just like a forum. So you can hang out with people in groups. You can invite people to join. Um, there's bookshelves in here. It's just a bunch of fun stuff. It's just like a big forum for people who like books. Now, when you're new, you won't have any friends. You'll, you'll want to join some groups if, if you plan on, you know, using the community a whole lot. You don't have to. You can add individual people as your friends. What you can do is click on Find Friends. It's also up by your profile. You can uh, invite people to Goodreads that are your friend on Facebook. 
you can invite people that you're friends with on Twitter, and that will you can also check mark it to post your Goodreads link out to Twitter. You can invite people by email. So there are tons of way to find people. Um, if you you can export your contact list out of your email program and import it. Um, there's tons of ways to find people. Once you say you want to add RJ, once you've found RJ, which his page is a little bit different because he's an author, on RJ's page, you actually have the option of friending him, which you can see I'm already his friend, or you can become a fan. And why am I not a fan of RJ's? I love him. So now I'm an RJ fan. Um, you see RJ's profile he has his uh, website on here his Twitter contact is on here because he's an author he can also import his blog most people's profiles don't have this it shows you the books that are written by RJ that he has listed on Goodreads um, here's what is going to be on everybody's this is my favorite part I can go look at RJ's profile and I can see his bookshelves. When I look at people's bookshelves, which is why I friend so many people, I love browsing people's bookshelves, I can actually see all of the shelves that he's made. And, like I was hoping, Mr. R.J. Gonzalez has a wish list. So, when we go and browse his wish list, I can see what books that he's hoping that he gets his little greedy hands on. This does two, like, two things for me, like I said earlier. It not only shows me what books RJ is really hoping to get, so which some of these books I've not heard of before. Black City, I don't know what that is. You can hover over it. You can um, click it and go see more information about the book. So it not only lets me see what books he really wants, but this is his wish list. If I wanted to be a sweetie and send him a gift, I know what he's looking for. So the first thing I look for on anybody's bookshelves is their wish list shelf because that is like the tell-all of of them I find good books and I see what they want I can also on his profile this is back on his profile page I can see what he's reading right now right now he's reading the night has teeth um, and I'm assuming he's reading an arc because that book does not come out until the end of September and I cannot wait because she is a sweetie I'm friends with Kat on um, Twitter and she is one of the nicest people I have ever talked to in my life I've been a fan of hers for probably about a year and her book's not even out yet how funny is that um, RJ is also reading the mothership so he's a busy little reader here you can see his reading updates these are friends that I have that he also has we have 65 friends in common awesome sauce so he's liking the night has teeth so you can scroll down and when you update um, how far you are in reading the book you can also you know comment on it hi Mimi Mimi is also on YouTube I'll uh, link to her channel too she's new to YouTube so you guys really need to go subscribe because she's a sweetie and RJ has 74 fans right now. These are people that took the time to click that become a fan link that we clicked on a while ago. Here's some of RJ's um, quotes from RJ. Here's quotes that RJ likes. Here's RJ's reading challenge. He's only at 30 of 50 books so far. He needs to get to reading. What's that about? Um, these are the groups that he's in. And here are some of RJ's favorite authors. These are all things that you'll see on your friend's profile. And before anybody asks, RJ actually knows that I'm using his profile. Uh, I asked him if I could. I didn't want to go this much in detail on somebody's profile without their permission. <laughs> but yeah, once you've friended people, like you have full access to their profile. And my favorite thing to do is come and browse their bookshelves. And then, too, once, once you've friended them, when you're on your... Um, home page you can click this updates and whenever RJ updates what he's read it'll show up on this updates tab which I'm not gonna click it because I have so many friends and they probably I don't know if they want their faces shown on YouTube or whatever but um, 
so yeah that's in in this section I'm trying to make it quick because this video is going to be crazy long in this section we went over how to find groups how to join groups you use them just like you use a forum how to find people um, how to add them what you can see on their profile I believe you can also yeah you can private message off of your friends profile you can compare books with them once you have books on your bookshelves and you can see which books that you guys have that's the same see it's like for the night has teeth by Kat Kruger he's currently reading it and I have it on my wish list because I'm not lucky enough to get arcs like some people um, he has fading into the magic and gave it four out of five stars. I have it on my giveaways entered shelf, which means I, you know, I didn't get it. Return to Finkleton, he's not read yet, but I've read it. So you can pretty much just compare like what's on his shelves and what's on yours. So there's an overview of adding people and using the Goodreads. Okay, you guys, I hope that video was helpful in some way. Maybe you found some areas you didn't know about. Maybe you feel a little more comfortable, you know, browsing the site. I, it's one of my favorite websites on the Internet. I love Goodreads, and I am happy to answer any questions. If you don't understand how to do something on there, just ask down below. Uh, yeah, make sure you friend me on there, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a few minutes to let you know about something that's kind of exciting. Sam, who is the Midnight Reading Owl here on YouTube, Lindsay, um, the book vlogger here on YouTube, and myself have started a monthly book club. A monthly, a monthly, monthly book club. Monthly. Book club.